You may soon be able to build your own smartphone. I'm Bridget Carey, and this is your CNET Update. Motorola is working on a smartphone that's customizable in a whole new way, letting owners switch out blocks of hardware as if they were Lego bricks. The Google-owned company announced Project Aura, in which one core structural frame can be attached to different modules of the owner's choosing, and that makes it easy to upgrade by just swapping out one of the parts. Maybe you rather have less memory to make room for a larger battery, or if you want to swap out a standard camera for something better. Snap on the part you need, and when it breaks or if technology improves, snap on a new one. Motorola is working with the creator of Phone Blocks. It's a project that had nearly a million people sign up to support it, and 17 million people watched a YouTube video about it. There could be an early test model of this out this winter. Google Glass is getting a slight design update. Google is adding support to work with prescription glasses as well as the option to connect to one earbud. I can tell you from experience, the earbud should really improve the quality of audio from a Google Hangout call. In the current early Explorer model, the speaker just rests above the ear. And it's hard to hear anything if you're in a place with noise, such as a mall or if you're walking down the street. Those with the early glass models will be able to swap them out soon, so I'll be sure to keep you updated when I get the new version. Facebook is doing more to track your actions. Facebook's head of analytics told the Wall Street Journal that it's testing ways to track your mouse movement to see if your cursor hovers over an advertisement and to track how you're reading the news feed on your smartphone. AT&T has a unique promotion going on now if you're thinking of getting a new Samsung smartphone. Anyone who buys a Samsung Galaxy S4, S4 Active, or the larger Galaxy Note 3 or Note 2 will get a free 7-inch tablet, the Galaxy Tab 3. But it does require a new service agreement, and you have to add the tablet to the family share plan, which is $10 a month. The promotion ends on January 9th. If you're hunting for an e-ink reader this holiday, Barnes & Noble just launched a new version of the Nook. It's called the Nook Glow Light. It's the same shape as the previous model, but now this is an off-white color with a rubber gray trim that offers a good grip. It's also lighter, weighing 15% less than Amazon's Kindle Paperwhite, and for the same price as the Paperwhite, which starts at $120. It has twice as much storage and no advertisements. That's your tech news update, but you can find more details on the show blog, cnet.com slash update, and be sure to follow along on Twitter. From our studios in New York, I'm Bridget Carey.